Okay, so today we're going to look at fuel pump kits, electric fuel pump kits. If you're building a high performance mini or midget, you might want to replace the mechanical pump that sits in the back of the block with one of our kits. So, start off with the road kit. We've got twin SUs here, a pair of HS4s, very nice indeed, brand new. So if you run a single SU, this kit's going to be just what you need. What we'd recommend is to run with one of these solid state facet pumps. So nice and simple, plenty enough pressure for what you need. Easy to wire up. So you've got just an earth cable there and 12 volt ignition live or on a switch. Put a fuse in there as well if, you, if you're doing that at home. What you will notice here, we've got some rubber bobbins. So these should be ideally rubber mounted. Okay, also with the kit, you'll get a fuel pressure regulator, which is ideal if you're using it on the road. Really easy to plumb in, in and out. And then you've got removable tails. So we'd either provide you with a six mil tail or a quarter of an inch for the SU kit, or you see that one's a bit bigger there. That's for the Weber kit, which we'll, we'll come on to in a minute. Best thing with these, put a bit of PTFE tape on the threads before you wind them in, because it is an NPT fitting. Okay, you get a little bracket with that as well. So probably put a fold in there and, and fit it up on the bulkhead. If you want to upgrade the kit from that point, we do also have a motorsport grade filter king pressure regulator. And that's got in the bottom a bowl with an inbuilt filter. It's also got the removable tails. And on this one, if you can see that there, we've got a plug in the top, which is so you can connect up for setup only a fuel pressure gauge. Also comes with one of these fast flow inline filters. So put this between the tank and the pump just to filter out any nasties that might be in the bottom of the tank. And that'll make the fuel pump last that a little bit longer. So if you're taking the mechanical fuel pump out of the back of the block, one of these nice tidy aluminium plates to go on the back. And we also will provide you with some fuel hose. So two meters of this, just so you can connect up your rigid fuel lines to the pump and the regulator. Okay, so that's the SU kit. If you're running a Weber, so we've got some twin split Webers here. If you run a single 45 DCOE Weber, then we do this kit right here. We go to a cylindrical pump, same facet make, but it does flow a little bit more fuel. So whereas the solid state pump is 121 litres an hour, four and a half to seven PSI, this one right here, 151 litres an hour at six to eight PSI. So for competition usage, this is the one to go for. So you've got just one power connection there. It's quite a big chunky cable on these, but they only draw well, just under two amps. No need to run a relay on that. And then you've got the earth cable there. I know in some race cars, they run it without the bobbins. I do, um, but you're wearing a crash helmet. If you run it on the road then, you really want to be using these. And then it comes with the same motorsport pressure regulator, this time with the eight mil tails, so a little bit bigger. And again, with the optional pressure gauge. The fuel hose itself that we provide with the kit, is a nylon classic look, so nylon braid. It's stainless steel inside, rubber hose. So you'd be able to pass scrutineering with that if you're using it in competition doesn't scratch your paint and it's real nice and lightweight so that's why we like to use that. With the kits we send out regular clips however if you want to be a bit flash and use the Goodridge style hose fittings so that these will be dash six in the 8mm size then you can run them with the cutter fittings if you want to on the same hose. So why would you upgrade from the mechanical pump to an electric pump? Well like anything mechanical that's driven from a camshaft like a distributor, it can wear out. This is a separate entity, so it's more reliable. You've also got a huge range of electric pumps, pressure regulators that you can run. The mechanical pump is right next to the exhaust manifold as well, which as you can imagine is red hot. So there's a risk that you can have fuel vaporization in the system too. So overall, if anything high performance road or definitely competition, an electric pump, fuel regulator kit, and Everything you've seen just there is the way to go. If you want to, you can buy any of these parts separately. So if you want the gauge, if you want the blanking plug, fuel hose, pump, anything you see on the table, basically, we can supply to you if you've already got one part or the other. 
If you've got any questions about any of your fuel kits in the video, send us a message or leave us a comment just below and we'll be happy to help.